Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moose Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Pisces. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribed, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watches. Grab a seat. All right, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued lovely likes, comments, and shares, and continue subscribing to my channel. All right, greatly appreciated. There's no time, no gender, and tarot. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe, subscribe. You just never know when you need to hear this. All right. Hope you guys are feeling good, feeling great, feeling marvelous. All right. Enjoying this long day. Um, well, yeah. Long day weekend. Is that how they say it? <laughs> you know? Um, that's the end of it. Damn. Like, yeah, I feel like it went fast. Okay. Thank you, ancestors, universe, angels. Any messages you'd like for me to relay back to the sign of... Pisces, please and thank you. So one card flew out. All right, we using Twin Flame Ish Oracle deck. All right, one of your friends slept with me. <laughs> like yo, I'm gonna take two of these. So th these cards are flying. This is not what the physic nick. What the physic nick? What the what the? All right, I'm a, I'm in a little goofy mood, but it's you know I gotta put some life into this. Shit. All right, all right. So, ready? Ready. One of your friends slept with me. Transmuting your energy drains me. My karmic takes my energy. My children are affecting our connection. Blood clot. I put you in a third party situation. Listen here. You you can't cut ties with me. I'm part of your soul. It's a little bit aggressive. I can't see anyone else but you. As we proceed to give you what you need. Like, it's all jokes and everything, you know what I'm saying? Trying to put some, some type of humor into this, you know what I'm saying? You're dealing with uh, someone who's very much aggressive and, shall I say, controlling in an aspect of that. See, there's different types of love, okay? And people will feed you what you allow them to feed you. Never mind my shit too back there. She's she trying to get footage. I don't know what's her problem. <laughs> she's nosy as hell. You know what I'm saying? Just don't mind her because she's going to keep going back and forth. I told her to get out of my room and she's still here. You know what I'm saying? She's not listening. And it was crazy is she's the same sign. She's a Pisces as well. So I guess she, you know what I'm saying? She wants some insight. But um, I'm born March 1st. I got her in May of last year. She's about to, um, she's about to be one years old. Um, but anyways. What's crazy is that Love comes in all formations, okay? And some people will feed off of the way you express how you feel. I feel like some of you guys, right, the mistake that you did in a connection, and I, th and I don't feel like you've done this mistake in this connection. I feel like you've been doing this in several connections that you've been in in the past, okay? You actually... 
tell the person what you have endured in your past. Like, not everyone that you encounter is going to be that longevity. They're, they're, you know what I'm saying? I understand. You got to paint a... Like, I'm, I'm a firm believer in if I don't feel... Even if I know that we, we may not make it to the future, but I want to feel like I see a future with you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel as though you guys see that, but then also literally take it literal. I mean, I mean... I can't say I don't take mine's literal, but it's in a sense where you guys are in shock when this person starts to show their true colors. Okay? This person has some dark hidden secrets. And this is a karmic. And when I say karmic was meaning like you, you're here to learn a lesson. You're here to learn a lesson. Yo, use that sex energy to create. I have multiple lovers. Bro. I cannot make this up and I'm going to leave this shit right here. This person gets bored easily. And that's because they just love sex. They love sex. But they try to control every aspect. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, yo, it's like you're just an assignment in, in this person's schedule. I feel it like I feel like I stunk somebody when I said that and I apologize. I apologize. This person feels as though that they have control on whatever it is. This could be masculine, feminine, flipping, reverse it, karmic. Yo, I mean not karmic, but like cross watches, I'm saying. Have a seat. You know, if this is your person, you know, if if, if, if this is Pisces doing this to you, or, like, I, I can't make this up. I'm, I've shuffled. You see me. But I'm, I'm, I'm sensing that you guys know that you're not the only one. I feel as though some of you guys know what you're in store for. But you don't want to face the truth. And even when you do, because I feel you will. Is the moment that you feel drained. But what's crazy is that you can, you have the chance to alternate how you choose to respond to this. I mean, once you find out, because I feel like some of you guys are still in a, in a loop, you know, you guys are drained, like, and some of you guys are actually settling. He's settling also for fear. I feel like, oh, no, 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 that's no. okay. I'll say, okay, say. I feel like some of you guys are feeling like this person has something on you that you know the moment that you leave. This could be kids. You know, that's in in the in the mix of of this. You know, you know that they're going to ask for you, you know, that, the, you know, that's what you that's what's really like holding, you know, 
this connection of flow in a sense because of course you know you guys when y'all love y'all love hard and what you're trying to manifest is real and just because someone can't quite under like be in the level of how you feel does not mean for you to question how you feel on that you can love somebody you, you know what i mean unconditionally and then you 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 paint this image of what you want from this person see now everybody can choose their battles they can choose to stay in something that they know does not serve them any good But it's always that constant thing of what people would say or worried about 1055 when I said that or worried about its completion and a new change. But you can look up that angel number. It can be very, very, what's that, detrimental, something like that? Because... What you're going to find out about the connection that you felt like you've been in and you felt like you knew a lot about this person because, I mean, damn, I'm always with them, right? So they want you to believe. You're always with them. See, that's the difference. It's not that they... (laughs) It's not that... Literally, and I want y'all guys to literally understand what I'm saying here. It's not that you know their whereabouts. They know where your whereabouts, which means you're always with them. See, this illusion, this 12, 12 on the clock, as I state this, let's go, let's go universe, okay? Can I make this up? It's an illusion this person wants to create in your mental. Because they want. They can't see you with anybody else. And they'll be damned if they see you with anybody else. So where for you, you think that's like, damn, my baby care about me. My baby love me. Shoot, my baby texts me and want to know what I'm doing. Of course. They're not going to want to stumble where you at. They're not going to walk. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're going to make sure they know where you at. Because they know what they're at. And what they're doing. But you don't know though. But it, you assume you do know. Right? So you know that little conscious. You know that little tap. There's like There'll be a devil right here. And then there'll be an angel right here. Right? And the devil's like, yes, let's do it, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. While they're just like, uh, hello. Wake up. Trying to confuse you. Creating illusions. Throwing kids and other things at you so you can surrender to their every need because they cannot see anyone else with them besides you so it's okay you be the main right and then it's all right i have groupies and all these other types of stuff or whatever right and i'm getting i'm hearing a little bit of like all right we can you know we can hit we can hit like threesomes here and there and do this here and there and whatnot whatever here and there and you know i'm saying but the little extras, I'm going to keep it safe into myself because at the time, I still need it. I want it. It becomes a drive. It becomes a need. It becomes a necessity. But if you're not at their beck and call at that moment because you're doing your own thing because you have a life, right? Because we all have a life. We all have a life. But this person, yeah. Yeah. Something about it. It just keeps them, keeps them, keeps them in control. 
Some people don't have really much to them that's positive. I mean, to each their zone. Like, it can be positive to them, but, you know, it, it it's like, damn, you're wasting a lot of energy. And when it's time for you, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it over with. Let's get it over with. Why? Because they don't exhaust their energy on other people. But my thing is, you guys see this. You guys feel this. You know there's a difference in your person's love making, their intimacy and everything. You feel it. You're wondering how the hell they got this new chick coming up and all that's yeah, because hello. Hello. And this is only just a bit of this. I can feel the energy is like so real. And that's why you wonder sometimes when you wake up and you feel so tired still and you went to sleep early, yo. You wake up still feeling so tired and drained, yeah. And I and I apologize in advance and how graphic sometimes my words can be, but energies is transmuted. If this person done had sex with two or three other people, they done transmitted four people in you. Bro. Miguel. I can't make this up. Energy is transmuted. And you give it off to someone that you say that you love and you care for, you adore. And these are people. This is a person who adores and loves and tries to create this family dynamic. Right? Because as I stated, my children are affecting our connection. It's not that the children are affecting the connection. The children is the root of why this connection even still exists. When you feel exhausted in the morning, when you should be feeling tense and crunked up. And you're like, damn, I need the third coffee. And you... you Yo, you already in the third coffee. Now you need the fourth or fifth or sixth, yo. Or you try to find a different alternative. All of a sudden, your mood starts changing. Your mood starts adjusting and wondering what the is going on with me. And I feel like you guys are... You have another energy coming here and wanting to understand you and, you know... But you have no room for that right now. In your mental space, you have no room for that right now. And I just pulled the card. You're acting different. Tell me what's on your mind. Yeah. I'm losing my mind over you. But... Accept your light and dark side. Yeah, some of you guys are accepting this. I mean, to each your own. All I can do is tell you what I see here. And how long that's going to last when you feel drained. This person may come to a point where they will confess their infidelity. And you will have a choice. It's entirely up to you what you want to do moving forward with this person. Because I'm not, I don't, I like, I don't see that this person doesn't love you enough to make you a priority. I feel like, yeah. But what definition, define that. Define what priority they mean. Define what priority that means. Let's see.
people take people for granted. It's not good. It's not good at all. Unspoken truths. Let's see what the unspoken truth is. That's why I'm headed towards. Angels, ancestors, universe. Any message you would like to clarify these messages that I have here? Okay, that's one. We're going to look at it yet. See some of you guys like just, just disgusted. Yeah. Feel like your person is more passionate about you than, but in what sense? Or you more passionate about them in what sense? Well, two more, please, and thank you. Sometimes people are their own worst enemies. That realization only comes from getting to the core, wound, or root of the pattern, seeing it fully, and being willing to do something differently. I knew it was you from the very first embrace. Energy flow, electricity, and magnetism, undeniable. Words we can't take back, but we can't, but we can forgive one another for the past and heal from it. It's words left unspoken that hurt more right now. Being with you physically seems so easy, so right. Why do we have trouble communicating verbally? Let's just talk. Don't tell me what you think I want to hear. That undermines my intelligence and dilutes our connection. It also breaks trust. Just speak your truth. That is all. Well, I'll take this one. Running away physically or emotionally doesn't help. It hurts. You may think you're doing the right thing, but maybe you're just doing what's easy. Maybe you're being more selfish or self, self-effacing self than you realize. Settling, perhaps self-exam, and I will too. Did I not say self-settling? Most of you guys are just settling because this is something that's convenient for you. You know that saying where they say that God will continue in y'all guys, you know, it, it depends on what is whatever it is you believe in, most high, whichever, okay? Whatever it is you believe in. It's like stating that when you want something so bad sometimes, you end up taking the wrong end of the stick. You didn't strategize. You didn't think things through. You you moved a little bit too too quickly. But that's also because this person knew what it is that you wanted. They seen it from the first glance. Your energy spoke to them. And not to say that this person came in with bad intentions from the start. But sometimes old habits die hard. Where you think you were probably the first victim. No. They've had other suitors. And sometimes those who, who understand will stop themselves in their track before they get a little bit too involved. While there's others who, 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 who who's left damaged. I always say karma for how they decided to do you, but how you react to it is your karma. You only have control of how you may take what's going to be said here because I feel like there's going to be a conversation that's going to be said, if not already, about a lot of hidden dark secrets about your person. And it can very much involve a friend of yours or a family member of yours. But besides that, 
that's just the tip of the iceberg and I know that one's a rocker but it's a drilling in like pay attention to the performance pay attention to how this person you know from a from a long day you know from 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 you being out or whatever and you come home and you know just pay attention to these signs like pay attention to how the person approaches you how the person wants to you know end the night is it because they're passionate like they've been dying and they've been wanting you and you know or is it just that you're released to their sex drive and their addiction this person has an addiction and and as much as you want to help this person it's not your job you will drain yourself and your energy trying to save this person forgive yourself for accepting more than more negativity than you deserved but also forgive yourself and know that it's not your fault if you decide to leave certain things that no longer benefits you in emotionally physically like eternally because I could see y'all guys getting sick and this could be mentally too mentally as well as like eternally literally get sick because not only has this person hurt you but also you got to look in the the eyes of the innocents and know that they they're going to hurt as well because you're going to have to learn to heal yourself and this time, put yourself first. Be grateful for what any connection teaches you. But also learn to surrender when it's needed before it gets too much where you're drowning you can't manifest what you want if you if you crawl into this hole and if you do go into hermit mode I mean go through those hermit modes stay in solitude but just don't stay there there's so much that this world has to offer. And they also, the world is also relying on you as well as the Most High to live to your, your purpose. And if your purpose at the moment was a time period that you felt like the children needed you at the time, own that, appreciate that, value that. Man, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, I could, I could sit there and have a whole story of, of how many, like, I've been the one who has lost, and also, you know, and like I gained another. You know, child, because I have a son of my own, but I've gained another child where one was just ripped away from me. You know what I'm saying? And it was a girl. So I felt like that was like, boom, when they was the same age. You know what I'm saying? I love her still to this day. I will never forget the memories and what she's taught me. Taught me a lot about myself and how much I need to grow as a person. But it taught me something. And that's something I can always forever take with me. But I also, you know, understand why it was needed for us to separate. Because these kids don't deserve.